Got him. That's exactly what you want to do. Now, this is what I tried to do the first time. Okay. <laughs> Yo, what is up guys, just Rick here, and we're gonna be jumping into Chapter 5, The Rapture, and man, I gotta say guys, this is probably the hardest stage uh, in the game, or, you know, hardest chapter, even though the, we're not the final chapter yet, uh, this is still, I'd say, the hardest chapter, they have, like, the, cl the, the hardest timing on their jumps, the levels are generally pretty long, too, and I, I see that warp zone very clearly, but I actually want to clear this level, because it's doing pretty good right now, um, and we'll retry that, but the, the the levels are just long and the timing are pretty tough. So um, take disregard anything I've said before about the uh, the benefit of running right at the start. That's not the case for other levels here. They kind of try to trick you, lure you in a false sense of security with that. But we're gonna be jumping into a warp zone, guys, and <laughs> right off the bat, they fuck you over with this easy warp zone uh, to find. But this is probably the hardest warp zone in the game, hands down. And I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm probably not going to be able to fucking clear this uh, easily. And did not get very much practice here. Oh my gosh. Um, but I'm going to be doing some massive cuts. So just just expect that that this is not going to go fluidly. And this is just a hard warp zone. This is probably one of the hardest stages because of that hazard on the right over there. Uh, it's just hard to, hard to deal with gears going down and not being able to shimmy up the wall like I did uh, on the first set of gear, so you'll see that when I actually get to it, which is going to be right here. Whoa, oh, oh my gosh, I just saw... Okay, it's going back up from this is, is just fucking a, a nightmare, so I'm going to show you how it's supposed to be done. Oh my gosh, I did! Okay, cool. And, uh, yeah, we just pretty much beat the hardest stage right there. That, that jump right there is just so precise, and you're not allowed to shimmy up the wall. Um... And look, do you guys see that band-aid? Basically what they're trying to have you do is go through this entire stage, uh, hit a switch, and then go all the way back down to redo the stage, which I should mention has fucking atrocious, uh, precise jumps. Uh, you guys saw right there, I fucking died on... I mean, look at... They designed it perfectly to fuck you over like that. This is actually the easiest part of this. It's those fucking two spikes, man. They're they're just uh, they're brutal. And believe it or not, after you complete this, they intend you to actually fucking go back and uh, do it again. Which yeah. should I do it? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Uh, this is what I mean, guys. They have you go. Okay, retry. Get the stupid band-aid right and redo the whole stage again. It's a freaking cheese move, if you ask me. And if you fuck it up again on the second time through, you gotta have to redo the whole thing. So. Luckily for me, I... <laughs> Alrighty, got the band-aid. I was gonna say, luckily we have the blood to see exactly where I'm supposed to jump. Where I succeeded the first time, but oh my god. Just did the same thing. Okay, you should be Scott free, I'd say. Do not fucking jinx it, though, man. Oh god. Take it slow. You're not actually timed in these warp zone places, so... I don't have to worry about the A-plus rank. Okay, last jump. Woo! Okay, got the band-aid. We're in the last stage. Uh, this one... Okay. She want to get this timing right. Oh, God. Okay, I want to go... I want to follow this, uh, gear here. <sighs> this jump... The hardest jump in this stage is actually at the very fucking end of it. And, um... I don't... I, to this day, I don't know what is the best way to do it. I've passed it, of course, but you'll see. Oh my god. Okay, fuck that. I'm gonna let it go. It, it's this jump right here. I got spikes all over the damn place. I'm gonna try to banana jump it. Oh, nailed it. Oh gosh. Okay, that's probably the best way to do it. You could try to jump into the corner there, but that is just a hard jump in. Guys, first stage, first warp zone. Um, it's a beast, let me tell you. But we're gonna be completing uh, the rest of these stages here. Now, that is an introduction to the new hazard that we have called the Repulsors, I think they're called. And they do exactly that. When you get near them, they kind of repulse you backwards. So it's just actually a very uh, ingenious type of uh, hazard. Not used very much other than ha Rapture, but you can imagine in the, in the, oops, in the Dark World, they're going to be using these stages, like, really creatively. Oh, gosh. That's just a bad jump altogether. All right. They're going to be using them in a lot of other stages in the... Dark World, more exclusively is what I'm trying to say here. And I actually want to go over here, 
get this bandit. It's actually easier to get this bandit than actually going the way they intend you to go, believe it or not. So. And let's quickly go up there. The timing is a little, actually very lenient in the rapture. The stages are hard in itself, but if you don't, like, fuck up and... Ooh, like I just did right there, almost did. Um, they, they're really lenient with the timing because they kind of expect you to, you know, be screwing around with some of these hazards like the repulsors. I just didn't jump there. I just didn't jump there. All right. And there's a band-aid that you can actually get with Meat Boy, so I'm not going to worry about it. You, you need a character that has a double jump to get that, so... Gonna... Or some something similar. So gonna go ahead and skip that. This is, like, the most straightforward stage I can think of right there. Um, okay, the Fallen. This is actually uh, pretty uh, clever. They have keys that are falling from the sky. And this one requires some timing right there. Oh, I missed it. You guys see the uh, the key will fall to its. Uh, you, you gotta catch the keys while they're f falling out of the air, so it's pretty uh, pretty clever. Takes some timing. There you go, got it. There is a warp zone here, and I'm not gonna go into it. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. Okay, fuck. And it is the hardest warp zone. Not actually a stage warp zone. It is a uh, character warp zone, and it is the hardest one in the game. If you guys know any other notoriously hard platformers, you guys know why or what stage that is. Um, probably one of the hardest platformers. Um, I'd say personally ever. <laughs> so, oh my god. Um, this one, I have a strategy for this. Come on. I have a strategy for this. Just stay here. The place where I died, you actually want to jump, and that is the only thing you have to do here. And uh, stay... Okay, might want to jump there too. <laughs> Um, and they try to fuck you over with that last jump, too, so. Alright, introduction of the APC characters, man, or the NPC fucking guys that fucking kill you. That's, it's a little bit of, to do with RNG, but they give you plenty of time to handle it, so my guess is just kind of bait them. Oh god, I was in the worst spot, so I'm gonna bait this guy out. Go underneath, yeah, okay, now I'm good. And a similar stage. Actually, I actually have a strategy here. These guys like to follow you, but they cannot go under these spikes here. So, yeah, follow me. Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. Oh my gosh! Okay, guys, I am tired of dying here. Gonna jump the distance, you'll have to touch me! Shout out to whoever knows what movie that's from. And if you don't, I'm gonna kick your ass. Okay, no, there you go. Much better. Alright, this one is, uh, okay, no, I, I almost forgot what this one was. It's a piece of shit, and the reason why, when you hit this switch, you have literally no time to get to the actual portal that they want you to get to. Those guys are not the hard part, guys. I can just easily jump over these guys. It's trying to get a good bounce on them. Yeah, this should be good. Whew. Alright, there, there you go. That's, that, that was what's hard about that stage. This one's actually kind of interesting. So there is a warp zone here, and uh, I'm not going to actually pick it up. I'm gonna go ahead and skip it so that I can clear the stage relatively quickly. And there is like a ladder kind of thing. Okay, the, there's a the place where you don't want to get don't want to get juked with uh, starting quickly because if you do, you're gonna fall into the spit. So wait one rotation then start. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Almost fucked that up. This one too early. Let's wait up here. Wait. Okay. Go. Now I got it. All right. Almost fucked that up. Almost went over. <laughs> All right. This one's actually pretty cool. I got a pretty cool trick right here. Watch, 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 watch. Yeah! You guys like that. I don't really know how to explain that, the timing on that. Just kind of... <sighs> I, I can't really... Like, before you land, just stop going right. And I don't know how I died. This is... I probably should have explained earlier, but this is like uh, Mario... I mean, it controls really well. I think it controls even better than Mario. But the thing is, you don't... In Mario, I'd say you'd hold the run key all the time. And in this game, you don't really want to do that. Especially for specific jumps with it, where they have hazards that will kill you if you run into them like that. Uh, walk. Do not run... Hold the run button at all times. Oh my god. Oh my god. You do not want that guy following you uh, if you're going up these things. Which, I, if I didn't mention, those guys follow you. I think if you look at them, they follow you. Oh shit. Okay, this one is one where you gotta get the timing right at the start, so. 
Okay. Ooh. I hate this jump. Ooh, okay. Did pretty good, though. Did pretty good. All right, this one's actually very uh, clever. So I'll show you guys. There's a ton of stage here. There's a ton of bullshit, but there's... If you guys listened to me earlier in the last video... Yeah, use the wall jump and you can get right through that. It's actually very uh, awesome. Just kind of clear that whole stage completely. And my favorite hazards will not be dying by those. Trust you, me. Don't quote me on that. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, there's... I feel like there's no real rhyme or reason to this, uh, like, a strategy to this. Just fucking stay here. Uh, watch the diagonal shots from the right, top right, and that's all you really gotta worry about. And they're pretty lenient with the time yet again, so I'm gonna go ahead. There you go. That stage is much harder, actually, on the Dark World, so. As you would imagine. Okay. Again, we got... Uh, and again, these are blocks that can only be destroyed by the missiles, so I should have mentioned that earlier. Take your time through there. These balls disappear. Do not jump into them too early. <laughs> we'll not have enough time to make it up here. Alright. I mean, aside from a free fluff... Oh my gosh. Okay, I do not like this stage. It's designed where one of these guys are, are going to fall, right? And uh, it's just a matter of trying to get him over here so that you can complete the rest of the stage without him fucking you up. Which, luckily, I was able to do. <gasps> oh, I told myself I wasn't going to die by these guys. And I died by him. Got him. That's exactly what you want to do. Now, this is what I tried to do the first time. Okay. <laughs> now, here are the missiles. Do not want to be dying on this part. I almost died of that part because... Anyway. Alright. You have a lot of time. Don't worry about it. You got it. But that first part is actually really difficult because that guy, if you, if, if you don't let him uh, get stuck on that side, he will fucking uh, kill your ass. And miss the kill. Alright, got it that time though. Okay, so the idea with this, there are three little uh, guys, right? The idea with this is to try and get them to kill themselves by having them jump into the razor blades. Now, I already did it one time, and that should be two right there. Now, you'll notice the first one doesn't actually shoot any kind of projectiles when he jumps out. Uh, the, every one after that, if he jumps out, he will shoot projectiles, so you gotta jump over them too. And uh, it's really just a matter of trying to bait him into killing himself, so I'm gonna keep going until he actually oh, does the jump. He killed me. You see, you wanna get on his, on his other side so you can actually goad him into killing himself, so... And just barely dodged the uh, projectiles that came out of there. I'm really close to the edge, that's why. The blast guy have no real uh, strategy for it. Just kind of, uh, oh, that should be it. That should be it. There you go, guys. I'd say stay towards the middle. He'll try to be on your outside at all times. So. Anyway, guys, there's the boss right there. Rapture is a tough place. Um, I'm going to quickly show you guys the, uh, maybe as a bonus video, the warp zones that I skipped. I skipped two of them. Show you guys why that that one's just unreasonable bullshit. Can't show you the cutscene, obviously, but new character. Look at this fucking shit. Oh my god, that is the kid from I Want to Be the Guy. And like I said, bonus video. Maybe you guys can see me at a attempt to try to beat this. Hey, you're doing pretty good. But uh, let me trust you, me. His stages are fucking bullshit, like the whole game. Like, ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This is that bullshit. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.